Alright, Shalom Israel. Shalom. Back with another back with another gym that's on the go. I'm Brother Nakum. Brother Nakum. And this is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible, and a double shalom to all the sincere occupants throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. And me and the brother was able to get up, and we just want to go into um, only salvation is only for the Israelites, who consist of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. You see? Because you got the whole world thinking the salvation is for everybody. So once, we, once again, we're going to prove that salvation is only for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. So, brother, um, you, you want to grab me on uh, St. Matthews 1 and 21? Got you. Oh, uh, but that's scripture first. Mm, man, bear with me, I can, you know what I'm saying? I'm on another device. You know how you technology active, you know what I'm saying? Stupid. So, okay. So, all good. Um, got him. This is the book of St. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth his son. Right. It said, and she shall bring forth the son. And that she is talking about is Mary. Mary is going to bring forth the son. And the son that she's going to bring forth isn't just any old regular person. So we're going to read on and see who that son that she's going to bring forth. And thou shalt call his name Yahusha. Right. So Mary brought forth Yahusha. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, who's so called black man. Right. That's who Mary brought forth. Yeah, right. Shah. That's right. And he shall save his people from their sins. Right. So, Lord Yahweh Shah, he's going to save his people from their sins. Um, hold me on 1 John 3 and 4. That word his is possessive. Let you know it's not talking about the whole world. You see? Because you got a lot of people thinking, well, so like you got a whole lot of people would be like, well, that, that, it didn't say, um, it said his. That didn't say Israel. But we know that it's talking about the nation of Israel. And we're going to prove that Yahweh Shah's people that he's going to save from their sin is the nation of Israel. Because it said he's going to save people from their sins, right? So we're going to see what sin is. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Right, so sin is transgressing the, the law of statutes coming out of the Bible. You see, sin is going against the law of statutes coming out of the Bible. So if you're doing anything contrary to the scriptures, then you're sinning. You, you're transgressing the law of statutes coming out of the Bible. So now that we know sin is transgressing the law of statutes coming out of the Bible, we're going to see who was given the law of statutes and commandments of the Bible. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 46. These are the statutes. And judgments and laws which the Lord Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel. Right. Are you sure that didn't say Moab? Between him, it's like which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. Damn. Which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. Damn. Which the Lord Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel. Uh, it, it, it's an Esau, man. Which the Lord Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel. Right. So the statute, judges, and laws were given to the nation of Israel. And Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Right. the real biblical Israelites. Y'all got the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. So, 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed a sin transgress the law. And Israel, you're the one giving the law, so only you can commit sin. Only you can transgress the laws that's coming out to the Bible. Right. Read on, brother. Oh, it's like In Mount Sinai, by the hand of Moses. All right, give me Psalms 147 and 19, just backing up this. Gotcha. But right, it said, in Mount Sinai, by the hand of Moses. Because Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus, who so-called black man. Led these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out of Egypt by the hand of Moses into the wilderness in Mount Sinai. Right. And that's where these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans receive the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. You see? Come. So when you so 
You got, you got that song already? God, if I could chime in, yeah, uh, the Lord, uh, Yahweh, you know what I'm saying, you know, delivered the whole nation of Israel out of the land of Egypt, man, you know, and who did he use, man, he used the Moses, man, Moses and Aaron, you know, see, that also proves that Yahweh Shemal Shah sets up men to direct your paths, man, that comes in the, uh, that come in his spirit, man. It's like Jeremiah 3 and 15 says, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which I feed you with knowledge and wisdom, man. And Moses was an example of that, man. You know? Right, brother. God. So you want Psalms 147 and 19? Right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and 19. He show off his word unto Jacob. Right. The scripture says he show off his word to Jacob. What word? This King James Bible, this 1611. Right. This word was Jacob. Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans. Once again, who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites? Because Jacob's name was changed to Israel at the arrest of the angel. Right. You can read about that in the Genesis. So Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans. Read on Bible Kishon. And his statues and his judgment unto Israel. Right, so the statue of judgments, you know, the law that came up to the Bible, they were shown unto Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Once again, are you sure the statue of judgments, the commandments of the Bible, were shown unto um, Esau? And his statues and his judgments unto Israel. Uh, his judgments unto Israel. Um, Moab. And his judgments unto Israel. Oh, Khan, Slaki Aki. Uh, yeah, Slaki Aki, uh, who's watching on the camera. Yeah, I couldn't turn off my notification. It would, we wouldn't be able to do this, Slaki, for that. Uh, and his judgments, uh, and his ju and his statues, and his judgments unto Israel. Um, last one, Ishmael. And his statues, and his judgments unto Israel. For the statues and judgments, the laws that come up to the Bible, they were shown unto Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Nobody else. Verse 20, Psalms 147, verse 20. He have not dealt so with any nation. Right, so your Yahweh Bashim al Shah is not dealing with anybody outside these so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. I Meaning he's not dealing with Esau, the so called white man. He's not dealing with Ammon and um, Moab, the so called Japanese and Chinese. He ain't dealing with Ham, the so called Duran African. He ain't dealing with um, Ishmael, the so called Musta Arab. He ain't dealing with Elon, the so called um, Dahi's Indians, or the Samoans. He ain't dealt with nobody outside of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Kind. You know, brother? And the Samoans are, the so-called Samoans are the Japhites, by the way. Kind. Just to uh, back up what the brother was saying. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Right, and as for your Bashi Nashah's judgments, these heathen nations haven't known them. Because they weren't given the law of that's commandment of the Bible to know his judgments in the first place. You see? So when you go back to St. Matthew's on um, 1 and 21, uh, real quick, you can hold me on Isaiah 45 and 17. But it's a lot of you, But when you go back to um, St. Matthew's 1 and 21, and it says, And she shall bring forth the son, and I shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people. The people that Yahweh Shah is going to save from their sins is the nation of Israel. Because only Israel was given the law. That's the commandments of the Bible. Only Israel can transgress the law. That's the commandments of the Bible. That's what Yahweh Shah is going to save from their sins. Kind of. She try to bring forth a son named me Hausha, you know. Oh. Yeah, you, you good, bro, you know what I'm saying? We got to, you know, that's his what name. I, yeah, you said Jesus. Tanya, Hausha, Salaki. It's all good, it's all good. This is Isaiah 45 and 17. Uh, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. Right, so Israel is going to be saved. Not Ham, not Esau, not Ishmael, not um, Moab and Ammon, not Elam. Not the um, Samoan, the Japhites, but Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans. You're going to be saved in your house by Shemar And it, it, it said, and with the everlasting salvation, meaning you want to get it. Uh, it's, your salvation going to be forever and ever and ever. Your salvation is never going to end. And you shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Right. You're not going to be ashamed nor confounded about anything. You see, because when we get in power next, we're going to be ruling. So, it, you know, we're going to be on top. So it's not going to be no need for us to be ashamed or confounded about anything. And we're going to be that world that's never going to end. And why are we going to be that world that's never going to end, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans? Because you're going to have that everlasting salvation. That's why your world never going to end. 
You see? So salvation is only for you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans. Nobody else. Um, uh, Act 5 and um, 29. Gonna be mindful of the time, Mark. Uh. Time. Where we at right now? We at 10 minutes right now. Uh, all right. We'll bring out one. This will be the last one. Uh, yeah, kind of, yeah, just to uh, say some Akim. Yeah, the last time we, we went a long time and didn't upload the video, so we just trying to be mindful of the time. Uh, this is Acts 5 and 29. Uh, I'm going to read it all the way through, then you can break it down. Then Peter uh, and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to be the most high rather than man. Verse 30, the God of our fathers raised up Yahweh, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Verse 31, him have the, the Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. All right, so we're going to get to the, straight to the point. Yahweh, Yahweh exalted Lord Yahweh, child, who the word they call Jesus, the so-called black man, with his right hand to be a prince mm -hmm. and a savior. To give repentance to Israel, right. not Ham, not Esau, not Moab and Ammon, not um, Ishmael, not Elam, not the Japhites, but to Israel. That's who's giving repentance. Right. And repent means to turn sorrowfully. So the only people, you know, that can repent, turn back sorrowfully from their sins, from transgression of law, that's the the Bible, which we just read in First John 3 and 4, mm -hmm. so, that they can, so that they can be saved, is the nation of Israel. That's right. You see? So only Israel can get salvation. None else. That's right. Only Israel. And, and, and like the brother said, we gotta be, we, we're trying to be mindful of the time, but we can pull more scripture just showing you that only Israel can be saved, and, and that's it. Yep. But we're going to end it off that, just showing you that salvation is only for Israel. You, gonna, you want to chime in real quick, brother? Yeah, kind of. I need, um, I need the, uh, the nation of Israel is going to be... Um, Gonna be ruling in the kingdom of heaven, man. But the elect is gonna gonna be ruling first, you know. Everything's gonna begin with the elect in the nation of Israel. Salvation is for the elect in the nation of Israel on the first go round. Then once the two thirds come back in the loins of the elect, then we all be ruling together. But the two thirds are gonna have that shame for a long time, you know. So yeah, but still salvation is. Only for the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and confusion of faces, but it begins with the elect first. Uh, so with that, I hope you've been edified. This has been another GMS on the go. This is the Rodney North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Racha, Quadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible. Right. And a double shalom to all the sincere octaves throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth of righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. So with that, shalom. Shalom, Kwame Ashirala. Nice.